In this video, we're going to see how we can book SAP certification exam online. So first of all, you need to go to this website, training.sap.com. And here, you need to create a login first. So you need to click on this little icon here, log on, click on that. And here, you need to click on this register and fill all the data here first name email last name password etc and then register then you will receive an email uh, for verification and once it's verified you can then log in so i'm already registered so i'll show you how it look like so click on login again enter my email id and then continue enter my password and then log on So once you're logged in, so here we can see SAP Global Certification Exam. There are two types of exam basically you can buy. One is called buy a one exam attempt subscription or there's another one called buy a six exam attempt certification. That's one way to do it. Or other ways, here you need to search for CER00. Press enter. Here you will get some results. So here you will get the same thing. One is called one, one time only, one attempt only exam. Other one is six attempt exam. So let me show you both. So the code for six exam is CER006. Other one is CER001. So I will open both. So let me open the first one. And here I open the second one. So here, if I go to the first uh, one, which is the one attempt exam, here you can see, you can read all the information. The, all the information are basically exactly pretty much same. Um, the only difference is this subscription will provide you one exam attempt only, other one will provide you six exam attempts. So here you need to read all the information here, but the main information you need to make sure you read is this one, is that you will get a 12 month access for the certification hub and here your subscription subscription is valid for the available exams on the certification hub i'll show you in a minute all the list of the all the available exams and sap global exam online exam are remotely proctored via the webcam on your pc or laptop and you can schedule your exam 24 7 via the certification hub that means you don't need to go anywhere. You can be at your home and you can appear for the exam online. Successful examines receive an SAP Global Certification is digital badge, badge for their accomplishment. And make sure you read all the information here. So that's the one for the one attempt, CER001. Here you can see the exam code. And if I go to the second tab, which is um, CER002, it's exactly same information here, but here you can read, you will get a maximum of six exam booking within a 12 month period. So you can appear, for example, you can appear for FI certification exam, then you can appear for CO or SD, MM, S4 HANA or ECC, whatever. So total exam you can appear are there six in one year. And you can also see here the cost. Now I'm in Australia, it's showing you AUD. In your country, it will show you local currency. And for the other one, the exam cost is in Australian dollars is $316. Also, you can scroll down to the bottom. Here you can see the country. It should find your country automatically. But if, you, if it's not the right country here, you can go to the top, click on this little icon here, and then you can select your entry uh, country. And here, for example, if you are in um, uh, India or you are in US, select your country here and once you select your country it will then display you the information and the cost within the currency of that country so now most of the information on this uh, one is pretty much same uh, one more thing i want to show you is you need to go through these notes here frequently asked question make sure you read them the exam process and also the post exam process that will tell you how you're going to get the result for the exam 
Now, one more thing which is very, very important is the technical requirement. If I right click on it and open a new tab, so technical requirement will tell you that uh, what are the uh, basic um, computer configuration that you need. And system can automatically check it for you. So you need to go through all this information here and you can click on this one, test real time communication components and bandwidth. If I click on it, it will check whether my laptop is and my internet is right for the exam or not. So you can see, you can see my webcam is ready, my microphone is ready, uh, window 10 is ready, my Chrome is ready and my internet speed is also fine. So make sure you do this check and make sure everything is working on your system. And other thing is, let me close this one. And other thing is, um, you can see here, whether you look from the CER01 um, page or whether you look from the other one, uh, CER006, you will see here that see all certification included in the subscription. So if I right click on it, open in a new tab, here it will show you the list of all the exams that you can appear via this certification hub. So you can see there are a lot of exams here and the main ones are if you look at, for example, if you're appearing for SD, MM, FI, production planning, you can see everything here. For example, um, sourcing and procurement, S4 HANA is this one, this one, TS450 2020. And you can also see the version of the uh, exam. So make sure you select the latest version. At the moment, latest version is 2020. After some time, you will see 2021, for example, or whatever the next version is. Same way you can see for um, um, here. So that's the one for sourcing and procurement upscaling. But the normal certification exam is this one, uh, TS452 2020, which is this one. Also same goes for the SD module. That's the one for SD, TS462 2020 for SAP S4 HANA sales. And uh, <clears throat> you can see the other one, for example, this one is for management accounting, CO module. And if I go, if I scroll up, you can see for somewhere here, you can see for FI exam as well. And also if you're not sure whether what is the right exam code for me, then you can Google for it. For example, if I go to Google and I search for SAP S4 HANA certification exam code, and here you will see, for example, it's showing me this link. So make sure you use the training.sap.com uh, only. So if I open that, you can see the exam code here. Now this link may not be showing you the latest exam code if it's recently released. So you can see TS452. So you need to remember this and that's 1909 is a version. So if I go back to this one and I TS452, if I search for it here, TS452, TS452, you can see there are two codes here. One is for 1909 version and another one is for 2020 version. So pick up the latest one. And for example, you can select this view. For example, I can click on view details and I can see the detail of this exam. Um, so that's the exam and that's the exam code and that's the detail of the exam. You can uh, scroll down and check the topics area so make sure you understand all the topics area and make sure you have thorough knowledge of each of these topics and make sure the you have practiced well on the sap system and on the right hand side here for example you want to appear for this exam on the right hand side again you have two options whether you can buy ser006 and you can attempt six exam within the next one year or you can go for only one of which is one attempt exam this one. So whatever you want to select, for example, I want to select CER006, I can select that and it will then add to the cart. So yep, that's added. And then you can click on this cart. And here you can see 
uh, the cost I can see is 789 Australian dollars I can proceed to checkout and finally I will pay for it and here I can now enter my here you can enter your company details if you're paying via your company or if you're self-employed at your own level you can select this tab here and you can enter all the details here once you enter the details go to the next tab it will ask you for the um, for your credit card details and once you have paid by the credit card then you will receive an email that will show you the instruction how to book for the exam and all the time slots that are available as i mentioned earlier you can you don't need to go anywhere you can appear for the exam online from your home and make sure you sit in a quiet place and the time is suitable for you as well so that's how you can book your exam and other thing is um, for example if you're not sure about as i said before uh, you're not sure about the exam code then i can show you some more example for example i can search for sap st certification uh, exam code So you can see when you when you do not enter here SAP S4 HANA so that's the exam code for um, for ECC same way you can search for FI or any module like that so that's FI and all that so that's how you can book it and once you book as I said you will receive an email and then within next one year uh, you can appear for the exam and one important thing that I would like to tell you about this is that um, here if you read this one Your subscription is valid is valid for all available exams in the certification hub you also can take each exam up to a maximum of three exam that means if you book exam and just in case if you do not pass the exam then you have total three attempts if you purchase a six attempt one you can appear for one exam only with within three attempts and if you for, for just in case if you can't pass in three case uh, three times then unfortunately you can't appear for this exam you can alternatively you still have three more attempts left and you can go for other modules right and if you have a target to learn more than one module which is recommended then i would personally recommend to purchase the six attempt exam and then try to learn maybe two or three modules and within one year you can appear the exam and pass the, pass the exam so if you have any question um, please put in the comment box and I will try my best to reply and I wish you all the best with your exam. Thank you very much to watch this.